Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 025 underscore BIABM where you save it. You can also download this file on the website or use your own file. If you don't have access to the exercise file, just sit down and watch the video. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This brings the save drawing as dialog box. In the file of type section, if you plan to open this file in the an earlier version of AutoCAD, click this down arrow and change the file of type to that version. We name the file to 00 underscore 026 underscore BIABM and click the save button. Go to the home tab layer panel and click the on isolate command. This brings all the layer in the drawing. Go to the home tab, layer panel and select the freeze command. Freeze this layer, this layer and this layer. As you can see, because the R3 is the current layer, you cannot freeze the current layer. Press escape. Go to the home tab, layer panel, click the down arrow and select the R4. Now, go to the layer panel and select the freeze command. Freeze this layer. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, draw panel, click the down arrow. Click the push pin so that the panel will stay expand. Select the construction line command. At the specifying first point or how var and bisect offset prompt, move to the status bar and select the offset option or type O on your keyboard and press enter. At specify offset distance prompt, type 750 millimeter, press enter. Zoom in into this area, click this line. At the specified side to offset prompt, move the mouse down and click. Click on this line. At the specified side to offset prompt, move the mouse to the right and click. Zoom in into this area. Click on this line. Move the mouse cursor up and click. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the line command. At the specified first point prompt, click on this area. Move the mouse cursor into this direction. The distance isn't important. Click to place to place a point and escape to end the line command. Go to the home tab, draw panel, click this down arrow and select the rectangle command. As we have first corner point prompt, zoom in into this area and snap to the intersection of these lines. As we find other corner point prompt, move the mouse cursor and snap to the intersection of this construction line. Now select this construction line and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this line and hit delete. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the line command. At specify first point prompt, click on this line. Make sure that your polar tracking is on and the polar increment is set to 45 degrees. Click any side into the drawing area to close the menu. Move the mouse cursor into 45 degree increment. In my case, the angle is 135 degree. Click. The distance it is important at this moment. Press escape. Press enter to start the line command again. Zoom in into this area and start at the end point of this line. Use the polar track in a snap to 45 degree. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. At the select first object prompt, select this line. At the select second object prompt, select this line. Go to card fillet this line. Now select these two lines. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the mirror command. At specifying first point of mirror line prompt, use the midpoint object snap and snap to the midpoint of this polygon. Click and move the mouse cursor to the right. Go to the status bar and turn on the audio mode. Click to place the line. Press enter. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the line command. At the specifying first point prompt, click on this area, move the mouse cursor and join this line to this polygon. Press escape to get out of the command. Click the push pin to collapse the draw panel and go to the home tab layer panel. Click the third layer button and click the on isolate command. Now go to the home tab layer panel and select the, the isolate command. Select this layer, this roof and this roof. Press enter. Now go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command. Snap at the intersection of this roof and move the mouse cursor, turn on the polar tracking and make sure that the 45 degree angle is set. Click to the drawing area to close the window and snap into 45 degree increment. Click the distance isn't important at this moment. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. 
you need to be careful because this is a very complex roof but with a, a careful planning you can get it the way you want the way it's supposed to be now go to the modify panel and select the fillet command fillet this roof to this roof press escape select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab drop panel and select the line command at specify first point one click at this endpoint move the mouse cursor into the left the distance isn't important make sure that your angle snap into 180 degree or turn on your audio mode click press escape to get out of the command now select the fillet command fillet this line and this line select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the line command turn on the polar tracking and at the specifying first point prompt use the endpoint object and snap to this area now move into 45 degree angle in my own case it's 135 degree angle click the distance isn't important press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command fillet this line to this line now zoom out select this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the mirror command at specifying first point of mirror line click into this area and move down and click press enter you may doubt if this actually will be going to work but after our model in 3d we'll go to the top view and compare the two roof the one that we designed in the in 2d and the one that we designed in three dimension if there is any error we can prove that there is an error or it's impossible to construct this roof but i'm sure i'm going to assure you that this will going to work select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the line command at specify first point prompt click on this endpoint move the mouse cursor into this direction make sure that you angle you are in 180 degree angle and click press escape to get out of the command we go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim off this line press escape to get out of the command now let's try to trim the r1 r3 and r4 roofs go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command select this line and this line press enter trim off this line press escape press enter to repeat the trim command select this line press enter and trim off this line and this line press escape all right we're going to stop at this point get ready for the next roof if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your phone if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue on this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye